Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show how to integrate SVN as source code management tool in Jenkins. If you want to automate build and your source code management is SVN, this tutorial is for you. Build automation means developer committing code to source code repository and Jenkins as a build automation tool pulls the latest code from source code repository, performs build and test. If either build or test fails, it notifies to developer and if they pass, deploy them. Let's browse my Jenkins server. This is the home page of my Jenkins server. Click new item. The new item basically, I'm going to create a build project. I name it demo SVN and there are multiple methods to create this project. One is freestyle project which is very simple. I need to configure from UI if you choose this project. Another one is pipeline. Uh, another one is multi configuration project, the folder, GitHub organization and multi branch pipeline. For the purpose of this project, I am going to very simple and using freestyle project. Let's click OK. This is the build configuration web page. We can see there are multiple tab. For the purpose of this project, I have on, only interest in source code management. This tab is let Jenkins know the source code repository and credential for the sake of this build. Let's choose it. Right now, we can only see one item that is Git. At the moment of Jenkins installation, by default plugin for Git has been installed. The main benefit of using Jenkins is that it has over a thousand different plugins. Plugins are something that will enhance the functionality of Jenkins to meet the requirement of user. For allowing Jenkins to use SVN as a source code management, we need to install SVN plugin. Let's move back to the dashboard. So let's click manage Jenkins and click manage plugins. This is the web page from where we can install the plugins we need. So we can use the available section. At the bottom of the section, we can see the three buttons. First one is install without restart. If we click this by selecting one of the plugin, if I click install without restart, the plugin will be installed and used immediately without the restart. But if we click this button, it will download from the update center and install after restart. And another button we see that is check now. Sometimes this list might be empty because the master might incorrectly configured or has not yet downloaded plugin metadata from the update center. In that scenario, if I click check now button, it will force Jenkins to attempt to contact its configured update center to download the plugin. So let's search subversion plugin. This is a subversion plugin, the source code management, the Jenkins plugin parent POM project. Select it and click install with a restart. and check restart it might take some time so I pause my video here you can see go back to the top page you can start using the install plugin right away let's click it and let click demo SVN this is my project now I click configure so let's go to the source code management. Yeah. 
right now subversion is available so now Jenkins is ready to connect with the subversion click this option this is the subversion configuration option first option is repository URL you can click you will understand everything so you need to put the URL of your uh, project project repository I am putting my URL and the another option you need to create your you need to put here your SBN user name and password let's click here click Jenkins so this is the domain this is basically global credential in this section you can choose anyone from the multiple option so there are username and password github app SSS username with private key secret file secret text and certificate I am choosing username and password so as I choose username, pass username and passwords I need to provide the username here and I need to put the password here no need to uh, write idea and description those are optional so you need to add by by clicking at the this credential will be added I have already created this credential so I, I'll go back here and choose any of them the last one is my uh, current username and password for this repository so the error message go away because this is the valid username and password click save so my SVN configuration has been completed so uh, uh, this is the workspace if I see there is no source code available and also the there is a physical location of this work space let's see from the configure system this is the Jenkins home directory let's browse this physical path let's click workspace let's click demo as well there is no source code okay fine let's move back the Jenkins dashboard and go back to my project by clicking dashboard by clicking demo is fan so here we can see one option build now if I click build now Jenkins will automate manually trigger a build and this will pull the source from the repository I have I provided so let's click build So below we can see one build has been progressed so let's click here this is the build dashboard we can see it is progressed so it might take some time build has been committed completed it has started at September 13 the revision 25 no changes because I triggered this build manually this is why we can see here no changes if someone commit the code into the SVN and the build is triggered for the changes we will find the changes here and uh, who SNL hook basically started this build it's take it started 49 second ago and took 19 second only then from here we can find all changes but right now we do not have any changes over there because this build has been manually triggered and another one is console output we can see everything every information from this output and 
the bottom we can see the another uh, red mark button delete build if i click this button this build will be deleted so far let's move to the project and if we click this section we find the code that 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 jenkins pulls for this for this build. for the current build jenkins pulls the latest code from the svn and and if i go back to the physical location so we hope we'll get the code also this is the project previously it was empty but right now after the build we have the code in this location that's all